I'm so happy to have you join us for our event, the Ozempic webinar, talking about all the fun things I love about the dark sides of Ozempic, how to bypass them, and how to rebuild the gut, because anyone who's struggling with uh, resistant body fat, hard gainer status, and trying to change up their body comp, they're dealing with gut issues. Studies show that over and over and over again. And so uh, I'm really happy we're doing this event and uh, you, you can share some of my favorite things about your company, Heads Up Health. Yeah, it's a great idea, Grace, the training you're putting on. I think there's, there's, there's a huge interest in more knowledge for practitioners on how to optimize these protocols. I've, um, I've been working with a lot of our clinics that are using GLP-1 very successfully. And um, our contribution, as you know, as the tech company, we want to help the practitioners get a, a holistic view of what's happening to an individual. Obviously, you want to know that they're taking a specific peptide or a specific medication. But then also, how can you make sure that they're getting enough sleep and their blood sugars are staying in healthy range and their weight is coming off, but not coming off too fast, or they're uh, not experiencing severe symptoms. So we have the dashboard that pairs perfectly with all of your brilliant education. It does. And I love this new hack that you guys have to tie in, sync up all the RUPA data. And you already in the past already uh, synced up all the data, like I love stool tests right? Yep. As you know, let's, I'm, I'm the poop princess. So like, you know, one you at people's after Mancia, I am, <laughs> you know, like anyone dealing with, um, so I've dealt with weight issues my whole life as a teen in my twenties, um, not until my thirties, when I got really into working out, I, I was like super overweight. And so after my kids were born, I lost 50 pounds. You know, I really learned the true and, you know, hard ways um, and permanent ways to lose weight. Um, and now we live in an age, there's a lot of stress, people are isolated, or they're fearful of other people, like really the HRV and the heart and, you know, connect connectivity with other people has really put people into this place where they gain like the COVID-19 pounds, me included. And I really struggle to get it off. And so I'm really grateful, like for like, tools like yours and then looking at gut testing and viral activation panels which your your company also syncs up lab data mm -hmm. from uh quest and lab core to see chronic activation of different viruses cmv epstein bar and others because and spike protein um, iggs even because these are actually impacting people's ability to successfully lose weight permanently and this will also as we know obesity <clears throat> and metabolic syndrome or just being overweight there's a lot of complications to longevity for those biohackers who are like having really good telomeres, but they actually still struggle with different health issues, different gut issues and chronic illnesses and low HRV, you know, this is going to impact longevity. And so I'm really grateful. Like, you know, we have all these like special tools um, to bring like true longevity to people. So they're happy, harmonious, you know, and have the best hacks. Yeah. I have my own thoughts on longevity for me. It, it, it's not some, um, sophisticated high-tech program or protocol for me it just happens every single day and to me longevity is learning how to regulate your own blood sugar on a regular basis and and keep that within a normal healthy range that is all completely something that everyone sh should learn how to self-regulate and that's very easy to do so for me longevity is keeping blood sugar in check also making sure you're getting good quality rest every night and understanding what heart rate variability is and learning how you can move the needle on that. I know you have a protocol that works really, really well. So for me, longevity is just getting that day-to-day -day biofeedback and making better choices each and every day. And when you do that, you'll, you'll inevitably see the numbers in your blood work get better. So um, it's, all a feed, it's all one feedback loop. But what your work is doing is your work is going deeper into those subclinical areas, I think, that would often get overlooked, especially when someone's going on a weight loss journey, to be able to look at their gut microbiome and to be able to look for infections and overgrowths and parasites. I think that's an area that very few practitioners have on their radar screen. So when you can get that part figured out and you can pair it with these incredible effective um, GLP-1 drugs that we have, and you have a really good practitioner and you're getting really good biofeedback every single day from the person, 
that's when you deliver a magical outcome to somebody. And that's why you do what you do. And that's why I do what I do is to deliver those magical outcomes. So I think um, your work with the microbiome and our work with the tracking are um, great together. And we'll be showing a demo on your training coming up on June 8th. So for people who want to see how you really get a 360 view of someone's health, we're going to demo that on the upcoming webinar. So we're excited about that. I'm so excited too, because the health journey is not easy, as you know, there's so many complicated factors and your company is not AI yet, but it's going to be soon. I just know it because there's so much input and how do we yeah. organize that? That's what your dashboards do, which is why I so love them so much. Um, and for weight loss, you know, I love bro science. I love of biohacking, right? Like these are, um, they go deep sometimes, you know, but one thing missing in the biohacking space and bro science space sort of, you know, the bro is just trying to get all ripped and shredded is that they, they miss the microbiome. You know, little do people really realize like when you have something like the bionic fiber shake, you know, high prebiotics, uh, 30, 50 grams of fiber a day prebiotics, you're super fueling certain species in the gut that we need. I call them the ABCs. You know, a lot of biohackers aren't even aware of it. It's our silent organ, the gut. And these ABCs, Acromantia, Bifidobacteria lactis, Bifidobacteria longum, and the butyrate makers, known as Clostridial, is just that big umbrella group. They make up all of our gut that keep us healthy. And mm -hmm. we can track it now with all the stool kits, which is fabulous. And when they are fed, they make short-chain fatty acids, which we can also check on certain stool tests and uh, uh, organic acid tests. And guess what? They bind L cells in our gut and the L cells produce GLP-1 agonists, GLP-1. We're actually getting GLP-1 production just like a drug. And that's why when people go do our gut protocols, they don't have sugar addictions anymore mm -hmm. or like bad habits, porn or alcoholism either because they're actually regrowing all the flora they need. Again, the ABCs and we can track it on stool testing. And, um, you know, we're missing this part in true science, I think. And we already know this from all the microbiome studies and what I see anecdotally in all my, in our, all our clients. And when we're missing that, it's going to give, you know, it's not going to produce, when people miss that, they're not going to have like true longevity. I feel like, you know, there's gaps and that's why I love your dashboard so much. These gaps can be illuminated very easily and all the parts can like fit together. Like we were just talking right before we started recording about the codes. These are cheat codes. You know, we already yeah. knew fiber will uh, improve glycemic index for our, our meals. Like I can eat a donut if I want to, if I have fiber with it, it'll make the donut, you know, not spike my blood sugar if I'm doing CGM, as you know, if you've practiced, right? And we know ice yep. cream, ice cream's full of fat and a little bit of protein. Um, it, it does have no change on glucose for a lot of people. And then there's really compelling Israeli data, um, as you know, um, it's our microbiome that determines the glucose response. You know, some people eat a tomato, their blood sugars go up because they have a sucky microbiome and they've got lots of fungal overgrowth, viral overgrowth, blah, 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 right? Uh, SIBO. But then someone who's healthier, they eat a tomato and their blood sugars go down because the prebiotic, the fibers and the polyphenols in that tomato, they're impacting the microbiome. And then they're producing this beautiful pharmacy of pro longevity chemicals that we need for life and protection. I love it. Well, yeah. I think the other but thing do, you mentioned there, Grace, is like after you come off a of GLP-1, right? That's also something that yeah. needs a lot of attention. And if you have not learned how to make the long-term sustainable changes while you're on it, eventually you'll come off it and you'll go back to the same habits you had before and inevitably you'll end up right back where you started or in some cases worse. So when you get on the GLP-1 protocol, being able to teach people how to self-monitor, okay, get my exercise levels up, get my zone two cardio training up, get my blood sugar levels under control, learn how to control my own blood sugar. So when you're on the GLP-1s, you have to learn how to make long-term sustainable changes while you're on them so that when you come off of them, you keep those lifestyle modifications in place and you titrate off of the GLP-1 and you can maintain a lot of the progress you've made, whether it's the keto diet or the GLP-1 or whatever, as soon as you stop it, it's not specific to the drug. As soon as you stop whatever therapy you're doing, you run the risk of, of sacrificing all the gains you've made. So learning how to make those long lasting behavioral changes while you're on 
a weight loss journey is important. So that's another part of what we want to help people do is get data every single day to, to help them understand, okay, I have to move more. I have to keep my uh, blood sugar below 140 through the whole week, depending on what number you want to follow. So I think also there's a lot of conversation around how do you help people come off of these successfully and preserve the gains, the microbiome's part of it. And then also the lifestyle changes are part of it as well for the long run. I'm sure you're going to be talking about um, that on the, on the event. Absolutely. Yeah. Sadly, we're going to be spending probably a whole hour on that because yeah, I wouldn't even sign someone up for like uh, any of the GLP one or uh, GIP meds because sadly, except for GIP, dual agonists like terzepatide, uh, Manjaro, like there is, we, you know, what we're seeing from data is that some of the rebound is way less, way, way less. So I'm, a, I'm even a fan of split dosing, you know, a little bit of Manjaro, a little bit of, uh, of Zempic actually to get that. Um, but you're absolutely right. Yeah. I wouldn't sign anybody up um, unless they have a commitment for all the core behavioral lifestyle changes, TLC, therapeutic lifestyle totally. changes. Yep. Yeah, but for some people, um, these tools, <clears throat> this is the very first time they've lost weight. Yeah, very that's a miracle right life. there. Yeah, right, it is, it is. These drugs- Well, you have insulin you know, resistance they... and you have all kinds of other things going on and um, you've just never been able to make progress before. And, and now you get that first moment of progress and that's so motivational, especially when you see it right in front of your eyes. Yeah. Like, wow, okay, yeah. this is working. The first time. That's the opportunity yeah. to say, okay, now let's build right. on that and let's get yeah. other lifestyle habits in place and keep building on the success. So um, I'm sure you have all kinds of success stories, but there's a lot of really exciting potential here.